50 million adults in the U.S. are living with chronic pain. Health economists from Johns Hopkins report that the cost of chronic pain is between $560 and $635 billion per year, which is more than the annual cost of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Many of these cases of chronic pain are musculoskeletal, meaning that the pain involves the muscles, joints, and bones. In fact, 1.7 billion people worldwide have musculoskeletal conditions. That's 21% or one in five people, many of whom are suffering unnecessarily because their condition is preventable or treatable by retraining the nervous system. The most common musculoskeletal condition is lower back pain with 570 million cases worldwide. And it's the single leading cause of disability in 160 countries. So why are so many people in pain? One reason is our aging population. We're living much longer than we used to. And the longer we live, the tighter our muscles get and the more likely it is that our joints will start to break down. I'll get more into why that happens in a minute. Another reason why so many people are in pain is our modern day lifestyle. Chronic stress, repetitive activities, and not enough physical activity all contribute to our bodies breaking down and pain developing. The third reason why so many people are in pain is that the medical community doesn't know how to address the underlying cause of most musculoskeletal pain. They try to fix it from the outside with surgery, medications, and manual adjustments. These treatments don't address the underlying cause of most pain, which is inside, how our nervous system is functioning. Our nervous system tells our muscles when to contract and tells us how to stand and move. When we repeat the same posture and movements over and over, our nervous system remembers and starts keeping our muscles a little bit contracted all the time. This is a side effect of developing muscle memory. Unless we intervene, we just keep building up more and more muscle tension throughout our lives. That's why the older you get, the more stiff you feel and the more limited your range of motion becomes. It's all just chronic muscle tension. Tight muscles compress the spine and put pressure on joints and nerves throughout your body. This leads to disc and joint degeneration and pinched nerves. Tight muscles also pull your skeleton out of alignment, which causes issues like postural kyphosis, forward head posture, hyperlordosis, scoliosis, and functional leg length discrepancy. So what's the solution? We need to retrain our nervous system to release that chronic muscle tension. Sounds easy enough. But remember, we can't do this from the outside with manual adjustments, massage, or even static stretching. Retraining your nervous system is an inside job. It can only be done by you, and it involves using a technique called pandiculation, which is actually hardwired into our nervous system. It's our nervous system's natural, built-in way of releasing chronic muscle tension. In a pandiculation, you gently contract your muscles and then very slowly release them in a specific way. This sends accurate biofeedback to your nervous system about the level of contraction in your muscles. If you pandiculate your muscles on a regular basis, you gradually reduce the baseline level of tension in your muscles. This relieves chronic pain and restores natural posture and movement. In an ongoing survey of my students, which at last count had 1,300 respondents, 93.8% relieved their pain after practicing pandiculation exercises for at least two months. You can see the full student survey results, read testimonials, and learn more about the method of neuromuscular education that I teach in my book, The Pain Relief Secret, and on my website, somaticmovementcenter.com. Thanks for watching.